Take Volume 23 is where you'll find the Mystery Electronic Switch Project by Jeff Tragg. For this project, you'll need a clear deodorant container, some switches, a magnetic ring, a couple of magnetic reed switches, and you may also need a AAA battery holder and two AAA batteries, and a capacitor and a resistor, and an electronic greeting card that lights up, and preferably with sound. I'll be using one of these funny hoops and yo-yo cards just because they're so entertaining. Take a look inside. You can see the circuitry along with the batteries and the LEDs. The first step is to disassemble the card and completely remove the circuit board, LEDs, speaker, and all the other components. For some reason, this card has a separate little switch that when you press it, it just plays the lights and a small portion of audio. So that's what I'll be tapping into. Okay, the electronic card circuitry. Tux, Tux, would you leave it alone? I got to get this from my cat. And now to the deodorant container, and this one has gel in it, so it's going to be kind of nasty. I had to empty the entire thing out, uh, completely clean it, remove the insides, and then when I was done, I had a nice clear container. In the project, a small perf board was used to attach the magnetic reed switches to, so that's what I built. Now, your card may vary in what you do regarding the circuit that's in this project, so it'll really depend on your card. So I've wired in the magnetic reed switch assembly along with two additional three-way switches to the optional little switch we found on the greeting card. And now to the secret only you will know about, the magnetic ring. This is a Wizard PK ring. You can do a search for these online. It's basically a ring that's a neodymium magnet. So after putting the two switches in the right position, the ring will close the magnetic reed switch and activate the circuit. I'm also going to add a third switch, which is not going to even be wired up to anything. It's just going to add a little bit more confusion to this trick. Because the switches will be mounted in the deodorant case, I had to cut one end off so I could reach in far enough to install them. I drilled three holes, and it's time to put everything together. Because we'll be using a magnet, you want to make sure nothing moves around inside the case and gives away the trick. So I'll be using some hot glue to hot glue the circuit in place, the magnetic reed switch assembly, and I'll actually hot glue the speaker to that magnetic reed switch assembly to hide it. Everything is installed, and this is how it will look. Now, the only change I made was I drilled out the bottom of one of the covers for the deodorant container so I could hear the audio play in addition to seeing the LEDs light up. I've slipped the ring on and actually had to use a little bit of soap to get it on and now the trick is ready to be performed. Tell your friend there's a secret switch combination that will allow the lights to light up and the sound to play and then challenge them to try to do it. In reality you're using the magnetic ring to close the reed switch which turns everything on. And that's how to make the mystery electronic switch. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. In the year 2000, Ben Heckendorn built his first mod. We can rebuild it. Smaller. Better. Portable. Since then, he has continued his work, helping those in need with creative new projects. If you've got an idea you'd like to see built, why not send it to The Ben Heck Show.